Hey guys, Bulbs here, and we finally got our pre-order of March of the Machine. So, uh, let's get this cracking. I'm ready. This will be taking in place of our um, giveaway Monday, unfortunately. But uh, it's just going to go until the next week, so the next week we'll have a giveaway Monday uh, as, you know, how it was supposed to originally be scheduled. Um, but yeah, just wanted to crack this. This is my first time opening any of the March of the Machine stuff, so really hoping to pull some cool stuff. I've been seeing a lot of things that uh, are exciting, but it kind of seems like most of the value uh, is coming from um, the legendary creatures. So... Let's see if we can hit some of those. The the universe is beyond or something like that. Oh, okay, so this is backwards. So here we go. Scroll shift into Wrangle and Torburn. Yay. Those guys are cool. Yargle, Draxus, and oh, Orthian. So we'll do that. Plane chase. Uncommons. Yada yada yada. Cool. Okay. I will separate this accordingly. We will, yeah, we'll leave those there. And any stylistic things we'll just leave down here. I like that celestial uh, artwork that they're doing in these. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's smart. Oh, tribute wow. to the world tree. Okay. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. A lot of people I think are looking forward to that. Finn, the Fang Breaker, Terror of Tawasha, Toyasha, Toy, to, 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 Toyasha. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I did that backwards. It's okay. No one cares about my bottom piles anyway. But yo, it's Jenga Taxes. I actually really hope I pull Jenga Taxes. I love Jenga Taxes. Hey, there's our first mythic, Gissa and Geralt. Is it in Geralt? Okay, I think that's probably not one of the best ones. Wait. Is this a list hit? I think it is, yeah. Huh. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember seeing that, but, you know, sure. It would be very characteristic of this pack to uh, have, like, a Gissa and blank person. I'm going to put the plane chase cards here. First, uh, first list hit in the box. That's cool. Can't complain about that. These packs are back to being like flimsy. They're super loose. Like, uh, like there's a lot of room for the packs to kind of like feel around here. Like, look how much empty space there is. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, just a uh, just a little. Hey, we got assigned whatever card this is. Uh, Xerix Strobe Knight. All right, furnace hot. Ozolith, the Shattering Spire. Wow. Draxos, Plane Chased, bada boom. That's everything. I do like when the, the packs are flimsy, though. I, I'm not a fan of... Hey, I love this card. I want this card. I'm not a fan of having to, like, you know, fight with the card to open it. Hey, there we go. We got Aaron and Giada. At this time, I know this is a March of the Machines. Uh, March of the Machine card. And then, hey, Judith. I know a Judith. <laughs> that's our commander rare. And I think that's it. Yeah. They got a lot of good dinos in this set, too. I didn't see any that had, like, Enrage, which is kind of my dino deck. But uh, they do look cool. Hey, Helio, the Radiant Dawn. In his backside, Helio, the Warped Eclipse. Very cool. And then our Invasion of Theros. Plane chase, bada boom, into the Ephara, ever shifting. I didn't do that with this other one, but it's too late now. And then, hey, another one. That's a three packer, or a three rare. Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Lockthwain. That's a showcase. We'll give you a, we'll give you your own pile there. But yeah, today was pretty eventful. Just sat through like four. Four hours of uh, traffic here, because the freeway shutdowns disaster. 
stitch together, second list card hit of the box. Overgrown Pest, and Zergo, and Ojitai. And that is our first official mythic uh, that is from the set. Very cool. Oh my god, it finally happened! Hey, it's Elish Norn! Oh man, not the one that you want, but I mean, still one of the ones you want. And it's in the, the excellent treatment. It finally happened, guys. I finally got it after who knows how many packs of the Phyrexia ones. All will be one. I finally got Elish Norn. Wow. I am. I'm so proud of me. I, was, I, I finally did it. I held out, you know. Kept my composure. And, you know, good things happen to people who spend a lot of money. Okay. Skyclave. Hey, we got the fairy mastermind. Wow. This guy. Look at the goofy guy. And a, a commander mythic. Uh, Siddhar Jabari of Zafari or Zolfir. And oh, this is the uh, the knight. I think he comes in the commander box. So that's a another mythic there. And that's it. There we go. Yeah, I felt like I wasn't seeing a lot of uh, tokens or anything that was popping up. Hey, there we go. Gonna throw this right in my dino wow. tech. I really like this just because it kind of has two abilities and then it's like 10 for a blight steel, pretty much. Not quite a blight steel, but still pretty much a blight steel. Very cool. I'm happy with that. And then we got that, that, and don't just itch. We'll go through these and see if there's anything else. Usually I'm pretty, pretty correct in when there's no more things in the pack. Another list pull. Hey, it's Hercules Recall. Very cool. Stasis Field into Inga and Isika. Very nice. Uh, that, that, and that's just it. That is all. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of this set so far. I mean... From the things I've seen, the only thing I'm worried about is the new um, thing that they're doing with the aftermath. I think that's going to be potentially not good. But C double and A Captain Lander Lanery Storm. Nice in the little sigil thing or metal. But yeah, the uh, the epilogue aftermath packs. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the community th kind of thinks about them. So I'm not sure if there's actual value in it. But it looks bad. Wow. <laughs> looks bad. Vision of Segova. Oh, I got the fox. I saw it. And Cadis, Sea Tyrant of Segovia. Cool. That's our third plane chase. And the very cool artwork. I really wish this card was worth more. Uh, but it's very cool. It's a very cool card. And hey, we got a commander rare. Do -do. Uh, Liliana's ta talent. Oh, it's the uh, the the you get the planeswalker thing. Cool. Put that there. I think that's it. Yes. But yeah, a lot of good dinosaurs in this, uh, in these boxes that I've seen. Really, uh, really feeling. I think they're coming out with a new uh, Ixalan set, too, which is going to be cool. Boonbringer Valkyrie. Let's go. Quindy. Doo -doo -doo. Aether. Yana. Yana. Cool. I'm already happy. I got the Elish Norn. Elish Norn is all I really wanted. I was I was tired of not getting Elish Norn, so I am happy to. Finally. Finally. After all this time, get a... Elish Norn, and here we are, Invasion of Ravnica. When Invasion of Ravnica enters the battlefield, it's a target non-land permanent. And pawn controls, that is, isn't exactly too close. When we cast a spell, yada yada yada, I'm not going to read that for you guys. That's a cool card, Invasion of Ravnica. And then we got Thalia, uh, classic. Just the uh, good old showcase version of Thalia. Thalia, Thalia, it's all the same. We all know what I'm talking about.
a pledge of loyalty that looks like a common from an old set i don't know what set that is attentive sky warden and we got the celestial treatment pelucranus uh reborn cool hey yo we got the uh the little boy should i put this in its own pile well we got the uh skirith skirith the wow. blight dragon i think that's how you pronounce that and then essence of orthodoxy that's cool pool. that's really cool artwork big fan big 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 fan very bigly fan nice moving on we're about halfway set boosters are in my opinion I, th I think set boosters are just way, way more fun guaranteed foil chance of the list cards i think it's fun glistening dawn it's a convoke card and then oh the controversy of the diane or dinah people are complaining because she can't be or that's only for spells or something like that eric smithis slumbering isle in the showcase celestial treatment and that's it for that one all right oh a desert card interesting sure <laughs> that looks weird uh never seen that hey a foil they made a foil version of these i mean i guess it makes sense but that's pretty cool looking invasion of zendikar sick all right well it's a foil complete the circuit the duke fell duke and that's it Sorry if I'm going a little slow with these, but I like to I like to look at them. It's my first time opening them, so I'm actually, you know, enjoying the artwork. They're trying to invasion of Kaldheim. And the back, do Lou Pyre of the World Tree. Very cool. That looks sick. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool artwork. I think everything that they've done with the set, I think, is just really cool. I like how they are doing all the old treatments and whatnot, too. I did see, like, a conspiracy theory kind of thing where it was, like, Wizards is just trying to figure out what everyone likes um, in terms of, like, which uh, which showcase treatment they like. Yo! Yo, this is hey, the biggest hit for yo. me. It's Jin Gitaxis, man, in the showcase foil treatment. Yes, dude. Oh, the backside. Let me see the backside. The Great Synthesis. Dude, I'm actually throwing this in my blue artifact deck immediately. Yo, that is what I'm talking about. My main man. There he is. There he is. Right there. Let's go. I'm stoked. Transcendent Message. That was just our foil. And then we got Lurus, the Dream Den. Or of the Dream Den. It's a really cool f full art. Man. I still have a collector booster box that I have coming as well. Still waiting on that one. But uh, when that comes in, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cracking that bad boy open. Because I haven't seen the... Hey, Chandra! I've been seeing people saying that Chandra's actually wow. hard to open in this set. So, sick, I got a Chandra, dude. What is that? Two Praetors. Elish and then Jinka Taxis, but not the ones from the set. But and we got Chandra, that's cool, that's awesome. I'm happy, I'm ecstatic with this set so far. And then we got Elinda and Azur or Azur, it's another mythic. This is a big mythic box so far. I can't say that that wasn't the last one, so let's not jinx it. What is this artwork? This is weird. Oh, it's one of the goofy ones. I like that. Uh, another one, Invasion of Argamon. Argamon. And then right behind it, Rona, Herald of Invasion. Into Eudora, the Grave Gardener. Very cool, very cool. And I think that's it for the, the pack. Yeah, keep saying box.
Here we go. I like these. I like the background of these. They don't look so basic. It's just a little cleaner. Vanquish the weak in our foil. Blood Feather Phoenix. Zeta. Invasion of Agramon. And that is it. Oof. Oof. That box was a little weird. Hey, another list hit. Here we go. We got Mina or Mina and Din Wildborn. I like that they added a lot of like dual characters similar to what they're doing in the set. So and then we got Ayara, Widow of the Realm, in our foil treatment here. Oh dang, that is what I'm seeing right there. We got uh Atali, the Primal Conqueror. Let's go. Primal Sickness on the backside. I like the other version better. I'm not going to lie, because I like to see the dinos. I don't care too much for the metal treatment or whatever they got going on. And then we got Hetsugo and Kairi, the dragon and the demon guy. And we got Squee. Look at that. That's a pretty decent pack. Squee the Immortal. Wish I was mortal. <laughs> Shivan Branch Burner into Bloated Processor. And Rada and Brud Brudeclad Brudeclad Telecur Engineer. Very nice, very nice. All right. What are we thinking that the the, the uh, commander decks are gonna go? Are we thinking they're gonna crash? Are we thinking they're gonna skyrocket? Here and there, people are thinking they're going to skyrocket. Hey, I don't know. Invasion of Ikoria. The shark, shark man versus the praying mantis lady. Very cool. Very cool. Do, do, do. I'm glad they didn't keep doing these. I, I, I do not like this treatment whatsoever. It just looks like a completely different card. Which uh not a fan of. Fire main commando, and that is it for this one. Oh, wait, no. Commander? Oh, you probably just go here. Boop. We got about five more. Five more packs. We hit the Elish Norm. We got the Foil Jenga Taxes. Man, I'm happy with this box so far. Drag Recycler. Nahiri's Warcrafting. Igar. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The artwork in some of these are just like so sick. Hey, just as I was saying, I don't like these. Look at that. Got a foil one. Very cool. Put that right here, right in the trash. Uh, Quintorius, the lore master, the elephant man. Very cool. Tetsuko, invasion of Eldraine. Blight Reaper, that's pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much it, man. I'm excited for the collective boosters, though. Hopefully, I'm getting serial number. I have yet to get a serial number card, and I mean, it's totally understandable. I've only opened like one Brothers War box. Hey, it's the foil etched. Oh, they even printed it foil etched. That's cool. Big fan of that. Uh, oh, I didn't even say the name, but it's a uh, Ker Karuga, the Master or Macro Sage. And then we got Yargal and Mulatani, Moltani. Yeah, tree with a blob on him. The ultimate combo, undefeatable. No one saw it coming. That's why they lost. If you read the lore, that's what they tell you about. It's, it's that tree dude with the blob. No one, no one knew what to do. Lose hope. That's what they did. Atroxus fall. That's a good, that's a good one. Just like got hit with like a stick, just uh, holding on to. It. Deep root wayfinder. Let's go. Deep root wayfinder, and then Jack Jacantha, the wellspring. This is some really cool artwork. Jacantha, the wellspring. Very cool. I'm a big fan of that artwork. But I think that's it. Final pack, guys. Final pack. 
Remember when I was like, hey, this is a really big, like, mythic pulling box. Hey, it's a gold stamp. This is a really big mythic pulling stamp. Or, mythic pulling box. And here we are. No more mythics from that point forward. Grafted Butcher. Re Re Renata? Uh, that's an uncommon. And that is it. That concludes our box opening. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy. I, I can't even complain. I, I'm a big fan of the cards that I got. So, got everything that I needed, I think. Might have to look over my list, but I'm pretty sure that's it. But thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. You know what it is. Uh, giveaway Mondays every Friday. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Uh, that's all, the only two things you got to do on that previous video. Um, other than that, Patreon's in the description. And uh, if you want to support me there, you can. TCG player's in the description as well. Uh, if you want to buy anything, it's probably on there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.